Tonight, there's an asteroid hurtling towards Earth and there's a chance it could hit our planet and destroy everything we hold dear. Do you A, send a ragtag team of misfits to blow the thing up in space, or B, send an asteroid sample return mission on a seven-year expedition to collect space rock particles, all in the name of scientific research? This is NASA, so they're doing the science thing. I'm Claire Riley. Welcome to Watch This Space. From the CNET studios in Sydney, this is your weekly guide to everything on Earth you need to know about space. And tonight, OSIRIS-REx, NASA's seven-year mission to play tag with an asteroid for five seconds. The Origins Spectral Interpretation Resource Identification Security Regolith Explorer, yikes NASA, is out to answer questions that have plagued mankind for ages. Where did we come from and what is our destiny? Man, this is going to be one smart asteroid. OSIRIS-REx is NASA's mission to learn about the origins of our solar system by picking up clues on an asteroid, or as NASA calls them, the leftover debris from the solar system formation process. Hold on, hold on. This is a mission to dig out leftovers? We literally just landed inside on Mars and the Parker Solar Probe is about to touch the sun and we're rooting around in the old casserole pots of the solar system? I mean, NASA even calls this asteroid a non-planet. It's kind of like, she doesn't even go here, am I right? Well, no, this mission is actually kind of a big deal. Our solar system was formed 4.5 billion years ago when a giant cloud of gas and dust collapsed in on itself. Imagine it like a big cake mix. The bulk of this cosmic batter goes into making the big fancy cake, the sun. Then the universe realised it still has a bit of mixture left over and remembered that delightful muffin tin it got from Aunt Glenda last Christmas, and so it divvied that up into making the planets. The stuff that was left over, the raisins if you will, because no one should ever put raisins in a cake, those are the asteroids. Just like the raisins in the back of your kitchen cupboard, those asteroids have remained fairly unchanged for 4.5 billion years, so they could tell us a great deal about the origins of the solar system. And also like the raisins in your cupboard, the asteroid OSIRIS-REx is focusing on could contain the precursors to the origin of life. Seriously, I need to clean out my kitchen cupboard. So where is OSIRIS-REx heading? Well, after blasting off in September 2016, old Rexy You're So Sexy is heading to a little carbonaceous asteroid about the size of the Empire State Building known as 101955 Bennu. It's a totally normal, nothing to see here asteroid. What's that? Oh, oh the Armageddon thing. Yeah, we should probably mention that. On an unrelated note, it's time for this week's segment of Will It Kill Me? Bennu is hurtling towards Earth and it's 100% definitely going to totally kill us all. <laughs> Maybe. According to the Centre for Near-Earth Object Studies, Bennu is high up on the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale. That's basically the hot or not rankings of how likely we are to get completely obliterated by objects flying towards us from space. Bennu is ranked at number two, probably just after that car that Elon Musk shot in the sky. Its probability of hitting Earth is about 1 in 2700 right now, so it's fairly low on the galactic death scale, but on the plus side, you still have a bit of time to prepare. It's not going to hit Earth until 2175, if it does, according to NASA. So there's no need to go buying timeshares on Mars just yet. I mean, I don't know why they called it Osiris Rex, naming it after the Egyptian god of the afterlife if the asteroid wasn't going to kill us all. Anyway, Osiris Rex arrived at Bennu on December 3rd, 2018. According to NASA, it's going to spend almost a year surveying the asteroid to find the most scientifically interesting spot to collect its sample. But it will only make brief contact, a fist bump if you will, to collect surface samples in the hope that they will tell us more about the origins of Earth and the history of our solar system. Because just like your parents were into Jethro Tull and Fondue before you were even born, the solar system had a life before we came along. But because this is NASA we're talking about, they're not sending a spacecraft 1.2 billion miles just to collect a bunch of space dirt and shovel it into a lunchbox. First of all, they don't call it space dirt, they call it regolith. Fancy. And OSIRIS-REx is going to collect this regolith by playing tag. Works kind of like a real game of tag, except slower and in space. The spacecraft will get up nice and close to Bennu and reach out with its touch and go sample acquisition mechanism, or TAGSAM. TAGSAM? Bennu? It's like those hipsters at your coffee place had twins and gave them the worst possible names. This arm will press down onto the surface of the asteroid for about five seconds, blowing nitrogen gas to rustle up some dust and pebbles, which will be collected and stored in OSIRIS-REx for the journey home. OSIRIS-REx has three chances to collect between 60 grams and 2 kilograms of regolith, that's between 2 ounces and 4.5 pounds, to return to Earth. 
After that, NASA's team of scientists will be able to study this space dirt for clues about what was happening in space 4.5 billion years ago. Hope Bennu has lots of secrets to share. After all, this mission is all about dishing the dirt on the origins of the solar system. All right, that's it for this week's edition of Watch This Space. If you have enjoyed our broadcast, then be sure to click the like button on your remote and subscribe to get more space news as it happens. I'm Claire Riley for CNET. Good night and Godspeed. I can just see them now. Tag Sam, stay away from the bagel station. Credenza, stop it. Just be kind to Bennu. I don't know why we had children. It was just so nice in Brooklyn before all this. Musk you. Musk you really. <laughs> I, for one, welcome the heat death of the universe. Could not come soon enough. I'm over here now. It's flawless. We haven't cheated this at all. I'm at a totally different news desk. We have a multi-camera setup. Not one person in a room just trying to lie with a green screen. It's professional.